Welcome back. The uncertainty for Chief Minister Yadurupa continues. There is no word yet on the disqualification of 16 MLAs with the case being put off till Wednesday. A different bench will now hear the case with today's judges differing on the disqualification. The Karnataka High Court is deciding what happens to the 16 MLAs who were disqualified last week by the Speaker of the Karnataka Assembly. The MLAs challenged the disqualification in court. The 16 MLAs were disqualified by the Speaker under anti-defection laws. So it may be time for school students to be prepared to wake up a little early or stretch out a bit more and step in late to schools. That is when the school timings change. Growing traffic congestion during morning peak hours has resulted in the education department consulting schools to sort out the issue. Nearly 500 schools in North Chennai met with the inspector of metric schools where they provided information on the strength of the school, number of bus passes availed, van and bus facilities in schools and the school timings. The meeting with the schools in the South Chennai will take place tomorrow. On the 20th, a report will be submitted to the Director of School Education and with further consultation from the government, a decision will be taken. Get ready to change your alarm settings. You might have to wake up an hour early to drop your child at school. Because the Education Department wants to change the school timings to avoid students from getting stuck in rush hour traffic jams. At present, most morning bells in schools ring at 8 and 9 a.m. That may soon change to an hour either earlier or later. In Chennai city, there is a heavy traffic problem. Students find difficult to reach the school in time. So, to avoid the traffic problem in the morning time, uh, we, uh, we are, uh, if we change the school timings, the traffic problem will be reduced. Nearly 500 matriculation schools in Chennai have already submitted a report on their timings, the strength of the school and the transport facilities provided by the respective schools. Some are a change and some are just not. See, as such what we are following, the timing is 9 to 4. That's ideal, where most of the government offices are commencing from 10 o'clock. And, uh, and you cannot have the school timing also a little bit earlier, 7.30 or 8. It will be difficult for the students also. So we have to see the convenience of the parents as well as the students. Keeping in mind, we have to plan it accordingly. In our area, there are so many schools and one polytechnic. So in that time, it's very crowded. If they provide any traffic policeman or uh, any traffic signal post, it will be helpful for us to, uh, for our students. A consolidated report will be submitted to the Directorate of School Education on the 20th of October. But will the change in school timings be effective in easing the traffic congestion during the peak hours in the city is something only time will tell. In Chennai, Minal for NDTV Hindu. A shocking story from Mumbai. A doctor has been arrested for raping a woman while she was in the ICU. So what are poor patients supposed to do if the doctors who are supposed to save them misbehave? भगवान के बाद तो हम डॉक्टर को ही मानते हैं इसलिए विश्वास से जाते हैं या ऐसा लगे देखेंगे सुनेंगे तो शौक ही लगते हैं। Growing outrage against Vishal Vanne, the 26-year-old resident doctor of Lotus Hospital, who allegedly raped a 30-year-old patient inside the ICU in the early hours of Sunday. Police sources say that the accused confessed to them that he did commit the crime. The medical report too confirms that there was sexual intercourse. At 1.30 in the night, the victim, who fainted at a Durga Puja Pandal, was admitted to the ICU. At about 4 in the morning, the attending nurse had an asthma attack and was moved to the general ward. With all the patients sleeping in the three-bed ICU and no other hospital staff around, the victim says Vanne forced himself on her. We deeply regret whatever has happened in inside our hospital premises and we stand by the patient. The incident has sent shock waves through the medical fraternity. Maharashtra Medical Council, particularly here in this case, can take disciplinary action, can permanently debar him from practicing. In Navi Mumbai with Prachi Vag, Priyanka Kakodkar for NDTV. Well, time for a quick break, but on the other side, the IT pros come out and play. They fire volleys and laptop for the champions of champions.